tonight, but we are going to get a few showers out of the same front that is uh, rolling through Fort Myers right now. Naples getting in on that, but you notice the lightning strikes becoming uh, more diminished towards the tail end of the front. That's the part we're getting here. Temperatures out ahead of the front still at this hour, 90 degrees. We went over there in uh, Fort Lauderdale. We had a feels like temperature in Fort Lauderdale of 98 uh, in the last hour. 86 in Miami so far, the high 87 degrees, but again, factoring in the humidity, it feels like a low to mid 90. So oppressive stuff, but it's a one day event. We're going to get rid of this for tonight as the dry air begins to move in behind the front. The winds are gusty. They're out of the south. Warm wind direction for us. Obviously, they're 30 to 36 mile an hour wind gusts at this town from Miami to Fort Lauderdale. There's the beginning of the rain, but Boy, it's just not going to be a lot for us here as the front continues to push in. Notice what happens here. It's just kind of broken up line of showers and then everything pushes offshore. So I think we're going to be in excellent shape. This is our weather for tomorrow. Not quite 60s here, but I think we're going to get a nice push of cool and less humid air right now. You can see the bulk of it right over South Florida with temperatures still at this hour. Very toasty uh, Thursday through uh, or I should say 7 o'clock through 10 o'clock. A few showers out there, maybe take the umbrella if you're going to be spending us some time outdoors because we are going to have a few. It's not going to be completely dry evening but it's not going to be anything significant as far as the rainfall as everything then pushes off to the east. So rain chances uh, holding it around uh, 20 to 30 percent and then we'll begin to uh, wind things down uh, on uh, rain tracker. They'll be able to see that through tomorrow morning and uh, we'll have dry conditions. I think by the morning commute we will have been, been done with this uh, rainfall. So drying and less humid for Friday heading into uh, the weekend. Both weekend days still on tap to be uh, fantastic and that nice weather continues as we head into early next week. Even getting rid of the rip current threat. So that's low with the wind shift out of the north one foot or less as far as the surf out there. UV be extreme and then uh, we have a small craft advisory that's going to expire tonight at 2 a.m. So no alerts for tomorrow across the Atlantic waters. We're going to northwest wind uh, shifting to the northeast staying at northwest 15 knots there for the Florida Keys. Tomorrow's uh, temperatures in the 70s. Now we're going to have a nice cool down as we head into Saturday. We'll wake up with temperatures I think into the low to mid 60s. So that's going to be something a breezy day. So we'll likely start getting into small craft cautions or advisories again on the water, but otherwise, you know, we can wall to wall sunshine, low 80s. And uh, look at that first seven day I've had in a while with no rain chances over the next seven days.